for the store. Do not talk to the store kit anymore. Okay. You have an abstraction, service abstraction. It will hide any framework specific detail. You have different implementations. Sure. Like a store kit implementation. Or data implementation and so on. Yeah. Then you have a core data implementation and so on. And you can compose them because they share the same interface. And this one's going to talk to core data. Yep. This makes a lot of sense. Now the store can probably leave in the app now. Yeah. Which is kind of where it sort of felt like it should be anyway, so that makes sense too. It now just gets a auto renewable service from the module. Yes. Yeah. That's that's I like that better. Now, because it's in the app and the app is Swift UI, right. it makes sense right. for the store to implement yeah. that. But all the logic is decoupled from Swift UI. Yeah. You can use with yeah. UI Kit if you want. You can use it with App Kit if you want. Mm -hmm. right. Watch OS, Watch Kit if you want. Right. That's good. And you have different implementations. I think that would be much, much simpler. That makes a lot of sense. And I think that testing this will also probably be needed too. This is good. Yeah, because you can test the UI. You can create previews, for example, without exposing any store kit right. details right. of core data or core data or anything else. Yeah. Now, these implementations don't need to be in the same module. If it's convenient right now, that's okay. But they can also be in other modules if you want to. Oh. It's a choice. Okay. I'm sure. And just compose them at the app level or at the main. Yeah. Level. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, even the store can be in another module. You can have a UI module if you want. Mm -hmm. The app is just the composition root, right? It just composes the other modules. This is handy if you want to, for example, you have all the store UI in a separate module. And okay. you can create some demo projects only with that UI because maybe you have a huge application. And to navigate to the store UI, you need to press a bunch of buttons and log in and until you get to the store. Or you can create a module just with the UI and you create a demo app inside that module just for testing the store in-app purchases. Right. And it's literally just one screen like this, like you have here. Yeah. And this is the demo That's project great. of that module. You have a yeah. module with all the other modules composed, but you also have one demo project per feature, for example. Sure. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I like that. That's very handy. <laughs> if you decouple the UI and the logic, then right. you can run apps like demo apps very, very easily. You can even yeah. have an app clip that only loads the <laughs> the view with uh, right. subscriptions. Right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. 
That's exciting. That's a good idea. It's one of the benefits. <laughs> you know, I came on here for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, yeah, awesome. and related to testing StoreKit, mm -hmm. anyone that is watching, there is a new framework since iOS 14, so maybe two years old, <laughs> <laughs> that lets you test StoreKit. Check it out. Official framework called, where is it? StoreKit test. StoreKit test, that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>